welcome back to the channel and welcome to the M3 competition touring. It's finally here. I don't know how many years people have been asking for one of these, but they've finally done it. And this is finished in Tornado Red. Look how gorgeous this car looks. It is absolutely stunning. Now, a lot has been said about the C63 AMG Estate and the RS4 Avant. And everyone's been banging on BMW's door to say, hey, let's have a touring. You know, let's do it, do it, do it. And they've finally done it. And oh my God, what a car this is. 0 to 16, 3.7 seconds, although some have claimed to do it quicker than that. And over 500 brake horsepower out of a three litre straight six engine. Now this car has a couple of options on it. Tech pack, visibility pack, comfort pack. Um, the 50 year edition badges on the front and rear of the car. And it's just over £85,000. Now, that seems quite a lot of money, but in the day of finance, you know, it'll cost someone uh, a few quid a month. That is it. But I mean, it's such a great car. It's incredible. It's not going to take sales out of the X3M or uh, the SQ5 or something like that. But, you know, this is an absolute wonderful car to drive. Um, similar to when I drove the M4 Coupe. The car's brilliant. It just needs more noise coming out of the exhaust notes. You shouldn't need to go and select Sport Plus and, uh, uh, to make it a bit noisy. At the moment, I'm in comfort. I'm in efficient mode. Acceleration is incredible. Sport Plus on the UK roads because we have a limit of 70 miles an hour, of course. But nonetheless, listen, let's go back to this car. Um, looks fantastic, drives extremely, extremely well. Where everyone is going, you know, plug in hybrids and electrics and all the rest of it. BMW left this as it is, no battery in here at all. Um, and I gotta say, it's the best decision they've made. Now, we know and we're hearing that there is a C63. Um, with a battery in it, it's been, it's been, some of the journalists have already had it, and you're thinking, what the hell are you doing? There's also rumours that they're trying to bring, or fit, a 4 litre V8 back in that car. They've already got it right. They have got it right in this car. It looks stunning, it drives ridiculously well. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to find things wrong with it, and so far, the only thing I can find wrong with it is is the little um the way the screen sits is fine but the bracket behind it looks a bit cheap that is as far as i can get as the worst thing i can find now i've not driven a combustion engine for some time I've, I've, as you know i've been in plug-in hybrids and electric for a long time but the boot in this looks massive without the battery you know it's, it's incredible that all of a sudden you don't have a battery underneath the car and, and you have a very very reasonable size boot this is probably the best, I don't want to say, if not one of the best family all-round cars, four-wheel drive, you know, you fit kids and buggies and suitcase and whatever else and then go on holiday. Go to the south of France, go to the Alps. No problem whatsoever. Acceleration is ridiculous. Ah, uh, 70. Yeah. Electronic limited to 174 miles an hour, allegedly. Of no, I can't more on that, I haven't checked it, but that's what they say it can do. But jeez, what a car! What a bloody car! Everything about it. A lot of a lot of people who know me know I, I, I'm a big fan of the Merc brand. Uh, I'm in a Merc, but this just blows me away. And I've had two C63s, W204, W205, and they were brilliant. And I'm kind of not even interested in the new one. Um, with, with what they've done in the two liter engine and you look at it and you think, why? Why have we done it? it doesn't even look that good. This thing, I'll tell you something, this is the right color for it as well. I'm disappointed being that we didn't go about a little bit leery with the seats in this car. Um, I would have preferred to have the bucket seats, but that's a personal choice. Um, but these are, this car is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Negatives, I'm trying to find some more negatives on it. What don't I like? Not a lot. Said apart from that bracket, I can't really think of anything else. 
Uh, it turns head, it looks amazing. It's got the 90s at the front, 20s at the back. Stance is fantastic. No sunroof, but it doesn't need it. You've got the, like the carbon roof on the outside. Don't miss it at all. Just absolutely bonkers mad. Quick, great digital display, head-up display, Harman Kardon sound system. What a freaking car, BMW. Big shout out to these two chaps who came and joined me when I was taking some shots of the car. Um, I told you I mentioned you. It is a shot, but yeah, it was great to see them and have a chat about the car. Just thinking about it, I just had to fill up. I had a quarter tank of fuel and 45 litres is all it took. So that, again, you know, it's, it's not it's not, a, it's not great, but you know, the quicker you run out of fuel, the quicker you have to fill up. Standard. So, oh man, this car is absolutely mental. I don't know how you drive this sensibly in the UK because I really don't want to drive it sensibly. I could potentially lose my license in this very, very quickly. Absolutely bonkers, man. Love it to bits. Absolutely love it. Huge thanks to Marius and Lucas at Partridge BMW for arranging this car for me. Very, very much appreciated. Um, I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get my hands on the new M2 at the moment, and uh, Marius and I have had some conversations about that in the last few days. So hopefully, you'll see the M2 on here. Um, but listen, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to go and enjoy this car even more because uh, I really, really love it. So I'm going to go and do that, legally, of course. And uh, I'll be back very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.